Hi, my name is Cameron Carlson with AnimeLocation.tv. I'm here at MetsuriCon 2024 with my good pal, Mr. Kevin Bulk. What's up? You guys aren't sick of me yet? I love having you, my friend. You're one of my best friends. <laughs> so it's been a year since the last time we got the chance to talk. Was at MetsuriCon 2023. How have you been since then? Been all right. Yeah, kind of, kind of up and down, busy doing all sorts of the you know the art thing, and commissions are always crazy. So, and you know, hanging out with good friends, and and I'm sure some of you are aware of the the big news that's going to be going down in November. So. Uh, yeah. We're going to keep that one a little bit on a private one. Yep, yep, that's a private one, but yeah, yeah, so. Uh, since last time we talked, you've made some friends with the old WWE slash WWF, for some of those who like the F as part of the name, uh, and uh, have made a little bit of uh, some characters of them, such as Sergeant Slaughter. Uh, what's it like, and then how's the reception been from those guests whenever you get the chance to give them the little chibis you make of them? Yeah, no, it's 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 a lot of fun. I mean, like I grew up, you know, I grew up in the '80s, so like the heyday of like, the, but you know, when the, when it was the rock and you know the rock and wrestling connection, that was like that was like my childhood. So like, leaning back into like the the retro stuff with my art, I was gave me a chance to like go back and revisit those wrestlers again, and uh, getting getting uh, getting my my significant other into into <laughs> into wrestling via Kinikuman uh was uh was kind of awesome so yeah no like they're they're super receptive like um i'm hoping uh this year we're doing wrestlecade in uh, end of november and uh, jerry the king lawler is going to be there and uh, if you're familiar with with him he's also he's actually a really awesome artist he's a musician and an artist as well as a, a wrestler so i'm kind of hoping to like bond with him about art stuff but yeah no they've all been they've all been like the sweetest guys and uh uh, we've definitely maintained like a friendship uh, after after kind of you know hanging out and ch exchanging stuff and yeah especially Sar Sarge is the coolest like he actually came up to us uh, well last show we were at with him uh, he came up and he was just like hey I, I love these could I, um you think I'd come by at the end of the weekend what if you don't sell could I could I buy them and give to my grandkids and I'm like Sarge like you can just have them bro <laughs> like, he's the like he is the sweetest he is yeah, yeah yeah. I got to meet him very briefly uh, at another event, yeah. and I told him about you too, and he remembered you. So, it's amazing. yeah. He's, he's really good dude. Speaking of wrestling, uh, it seems that anime fans are also really into this art form of entertainment. Uh, what do you think helped draws fans in and keeps them there? It is easy. I can tell you. I can tell you exactly why. A lot of the, sh the basically, uh, so many of the sh of the battle manga, uh, battle shown in battle manga tropes, originate from pro wrestling. Like the ideals of manga, like heel and face turns, yeah. like 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 certain story arcs are totally patterned after like wrestling arcs. Um, in fact, I I, uh, I talk a lot about how uh, like Kinikuman yes. is basically the the great granddaddy of yes, yes. shonen battle manga, and they took so many of their storytelling tropes from professional wrestling. And so because of that, I mean the crossover is is obvious. It's the same storytelling type stuff. So it, it's 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 really cool. Alrighty, now also you recently happened to have your name on the side of a wrestling ring. What did that mean for you? That was so surreal, man. Like it's one of those things. Like if I told like five year old me that like you know I was hanging out with pro wrestlers and like you know I was sponsoring wrestling shows, it would be it would be insane. So yeah, it was uh, it was uh, five five year old five year old Cabo's like one of you know dream number four hundred and fifty three checked off. <laughs> Alrighty, now you're well known for love of your vintage toys, toys and collectibles. What has been one of the big rare ones you found within the last year? Who within the last year, man? Like the funny thing is, like I don't tend to look for. I look for. I, I like finding weird stuff, you know. But I will say, I was. I did a. I did a card show a couple weeks ago, and I've been on the hunt for the '85 and '87 WWF uh, tops oh, card yeah. sets. They're so like I I've never seen them anywhere. And when you see cards, like they usually go for like between five and twenty dollars per card, yeah. you know. And I looked out this card show, like they were selling like loose packs for like five dollars each, wow. and like people were like doing like individual cards for like twenty five cents, fifty cents. So I amassed like a bigger collection of those cards just that one weekend that I have in like five years of looking for them. Because I find one here and there, like, it's like, oh, I gotta have like, you know, Brutus BK or five dollars. Like, Macho Man, I'll pay five dollars. That's fine. But like, they were few and far between. Then suddenly, like, boom, you know, like all of them in one spot. So that was a really cool find. You're like wailing it up that weekend, bro. Like, and that that set, like, getting a complete set is between five hundred and a grand of the eighty-five set. The eighty-seven set's a little cheaper at about two to three hundred. So like, whew. all righty. <laughs> and speaking of vintage stuff, we have Godzilla was in the was. Was had a good new film this year, and you're a huge Godzilla fan. How did you think it went this year? Yeah, dude, I feel like a bad Godzilla fan because minus one was in theaters while I was at like a, like I, I was doing like four or five cons back to back to back. Oh, yeah. I missed it in theaters, okay. so like I have not seen minus one yet, but I am chomping at the bit. Um, like I, I'm, you know, and Godzilla vs Kong was always always fun. I, I definitely like 
the out, out of the recent legendary films, I think King of the Monsters is still my favorite. But that's mostly because like I'm King Ghidorah is like my <laughs> I love uh, these probably my, my favorite kaiju. So like anyway, he, he was like so they made him practically biblical in that movie, and I'm just all into that. Alrighty, now as an artist though, you know things can kind of get a little tough, especially with how consumer taste goes. Sure. How have you been making sure that you know your art keeps going? Well, I mean, like, when I'm doing this kind of stuff, like the pop culture stuff, I just do whatever. I, I just follow my heart, man. And people, like, can sense that enthusiasm. Even people who aren't really into the retro stuff, they like the style. They like my attitude. They like the, the energy I bring to my work. So they'll, you know, that I've been lucky. I've been lucky enough that, that I've not, I've been worried about that because I'm like, oh, man, I'm going to, you know, like, these kids are going to age out. Like, I'm going to age out of all this. Like, no one's going to want just to see, like, you know, vintage 80s caravans. But, Lord, Lord help me, I'll, I'll have, like, like, 17 to 21 year olds coming up and being like oh my gosh like Care Bears, Strawberry Shortcake, Rainbow Bright and I'm like really like, okay no cool I'll take it that's awesome um I mean and, and like aside from that like I do a lot of uh, I do a lot of corporate mascot design and that and that is a very lucrative that's been a very lucrative uh field for me do you mind telling us which one of your corporate mascots would be known to the to the world uh I am I cannot unfortunately okay. it's, it's a lot of tech firms and stuff so it's uh, stuff that's kind of like still in development okay but. okay so speaking of uh how art and your mom was a very big influence and in how she stole you out of color guard yeah. to take you to Otakon. Otakon 96 yeah. how what does that mean for your mom to have been so supportive of you from the very beginning of you know a little cabo to big cabo you know geez it's it's been man yeah no it's always uh whew. No, no, you're gonna get me emotional here. Uh, no, it just it, it means a lot, you know. And, and I and I and I realize how uh, unfortunately rare that is for a lot of people. So like to be blessed with someone who's supportive of your, you know, to a parent who's who's that supportive of your, of your uh, your hobbies and your career choices and interests and like you know backing you 100 percent is uh, is uh, a blessing. Yeah. yeah, especially to steal you out of color guard. Yeah, yeah, no, well, like. Uh, man, yeah. They, if it wasn't for them, I probably wouldn't be here now. Like, if it wasn't for that Otakon trip, if I, if they made me done Color Guard instead, maybe I would be in a marching band somewhere. But who knows? But I, I'm, I'm happy with the path that uh, they set me on. <laughs> I mean, I could see you twirling flags. It's okay. I mean, I still, I'm, I still practice skating. I can still do like you know the around the back and this and that. So. <laughs> Alrighty, now uh, kind of finishing things up. Uh, what projects can you talk about that you want fans to see? I mean, really, like all my all my effort right now is just doing commission stuff and uh, and the and the the wedding. I'm gonna say wedding. I'm getting married, so like you know that's that's mostly where my attention's going to right now. Uh, but uh, after that, no, we'll be looking. Like I said, we still got the uh, we're still developing the uh, the Saturday morning tarot deck. Okay. That's still definitely on the on the forefront of things we want to be able to finish for next year. Um, and a lot of like, I mean, I've been. Um, I've been getting a lot of uh, uh, independent wrestlers coming in, like commissioning me to do. They saw the art cards; they want ones of themselves. So, like, I'm getting more and more into that world, and like, I'm getting lots of sponsorships and commissions through that. So, I imagine you'll probably see a lot more of uh, that kind of work from me. But definitely, the the, the Saturday morning tarot deck is is kind of what I want to hop on next once we uh, get this whole marriage thing out of the way. Alrighty, well. I was going to say, what, where can we follow you and what message would you love to give to people? Because uh, we all want to say congratulations, uh, probably because we won't physically be able to see Kevin shortly with Sammy, but we want to say congratulations on your wedding. You. It's been a long time coming. Congratulations. Yeah. Wrapping things up, where can we follow you and a final message? Yep. KevinBulk.com. And uh, guys, you know, you've, you've been behind me for years and I'm always grateful. I love you all. So thank you. That's really, thank you. Gratitude is all I've got for you right now. So. <laughs> Thanks so much.